Is it just me or does this cafe smell amazing at all times between the coffee and the Indiana's cooking? No kidding. And you guys know the website is finally live. So you can now purchase a coffee before we even open. That's exciting. Yes, it's super exciting. So we'll leave the link for you guys down below. We've been working on this for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it is perfection for so many different reasons. Our Wild Roots coffee is sourced directly from the farm and purchased with a handshake. What Aaron means by this is no middleman involved, which allows a farmer to get paid a higher price. And allowing us to offer a higher quality product at a price similar to what you find in a grocery store. Good friends of ours, Jordan and Kaylee, who I'm sure many of you know, spent a ton of time in Central America traveling from farm to farm looking for not only the best coffee that they could find, but ensuring that the farm's practices were ethical and up to both their standards and ours. Something that you'll find with our Wild Roots coffee that not many other brands do is every single bean is physically inspected and any defects are removed to make sure that only the highest quality end up in the bag. The coffee is a fresh harvest from this year and it's fresh roasted in micro batches at 10 pounds at a time. And as Josh mentioned, there are no big corporations involved. One of the really special things about this coffee is not just the quality and the ethics behind it, but the fact that this coffee is made possible by real small family businesses. From the small family run farms to the small family run roastery with Jordan and Kaylee to this small family run cafe, it is a culmination of small families like Jordan and Kaylee's, Deanna's and ours, getting this coffee here to serve in our cafe and now also to your guys' homes. Check it out, guys. It's so exciting. We have a link for you guys down below. You can buy by the bag or you can sign up for a subscription, save a little bit of money, and have your coffee delivered directly to you every single month. But to have a highly successful day, you got a lot of work done. That's what it is. You just smell it and taste it, you know it's about to happen. Smells like success? Success. So shall we go over what our to-do list is? Yes. You ready? I guess so. <laughs> You want one first? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> the plates are already installed in the storage room. We still need to install the lights on the ceiling in the kitchen. I need to pipe out that box that comes down to the dishwasher and this room is actually 100% done. The tables are in pretty good shape, but there's a couple of rough spots and imperfections. So we need to do another sand and then a light coat on here. The trim paint that never ends. The trim's done everywhere though. <laughs> That's a plus side. The door color is perfect. Yep. But the lighting situation in here needs help. I got to take care of, obviously. Finally, we came <laughs> prepared this time. Look at that ball, that's a ball. <laughs> Goodbye ugly lights, hello improved lights. It looks ugly right here, but I promise it's gonna look good. The lighting makes a huge difference. It does, we've talked about old world charm, you know? Yeah, now the bathroom is romantic. <laughs> It's beautiful, right? That's nice, definitely nicer. Now we need that wallpaper. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. About the much are done. There's really not that much left. We've wiped up, cleaned up, taken care of, get a lot of the material out of here that's been used and done. Just cleaned up. And we're just, we just punch this bad boy out. We're good. Who's that? The oh, glass guy. The glass is guy is here. Yes. Bright and early. We were just glass and metal. Fantastic. Well, there we go. Our first thing's checked off the list for the day. <laughs> I had a dream you were leaving. We have a knockbox. We also have a glass rinser. Both of these need to be cut into the bar right next to the espresso machine. I'm going to trace around the gasket. It's the perfect size for the hole. I'm going to take my uh, saw. Cut the hole out, place it in, and do it next one. So we're in, we've got a caulk in this one right here. We've got to hook up the plumbing still. And this one's gonna be meant to be pulled out and dumped out. Looks great, almost complete. 
So the next thing that we're gonna work on is getting the power pole built and installed coming from the ceiling down to the bar. All of that provides the internet and the power for the cash register and all of the plugs that run underneath the front portion of the bar. Four inches. And then four inches from all sides. Right. This is what dreams are made of, guys. I'm not gonna drink this. <laughs> That's too I, I got too much caffeine. <laughs> I can tell. You want this? Oh my god. <laughs> Step away from the espresso machine. It's just so tempting. Look how good that looks. I mean. I know. I know. It's, it's perfect. What can I say? You know? That's how we do. Josh. Josh. <laughs> it's magnificent. I'm gonna take three one bys. I'm gonna nail them together so it's like an open box. So the three sides will be closed up. We'll put it on top of the bar. We'll plumb it up. We'll go through it, push the MC and the coax cable in there. We'll put a, another wooden cover on it and nail it together. That's perfect. There we go. And make sure that thing's nice and sturdy. And that's gonna be it for the power pole. It's gonna look like a piece of bar that goes up to the ceiling, finish, stained, same color as the bar, and with a coat of poly. Well, it's good now. And I'm gonna be stained. Say dark espresso and a coat of poly, a little sand, and a coat of poly, finito. Put me in, coach. All right. So that power pole is up and it's done. It's attached up top, it's attached down low. A lot of things have been happening around here lately. Aaron's been here filming, I've been here slaving away, but getting a lot of things done. Lights in here are installed, power's done. I still got a wire dishwasher though. But we're moving right along. That doorknob behind me, is installed. That's one Aaron didn't get paint on because uh, she painted her first. Got... I was not the one who painted that. <laughs> we changed the knob out and it's good. It works. And Steven built the pergola in one day. It looks absolutely amazing. It's all pressure treated lumber. We're going to wait a little bit. We're going to paint it. But it just adds so much dimension to that building because it was just a flat green building. But now you have that. It's going to a big old wild root sign that goes across the top. We're going to do some greenery. We've got some flower boxes. On both sides, you're gonna be able to walk through. We're gonna have under pergola seating. So it's gonna be outside seating for a beautiful day like it is today, but it's all coming together. These are all used coffee cloths, I think, before we had a sink installed. We're yes. gonna see if they will keep the stain off the bar. They should do the job, right? They should. I've been patient, I've been waiting, never knowing if it's changing or but a broken heart can be a reason to start brand new. My goal for today is to get these lights in the kitchen on. Once these four lights are mounted and turned on, that means we can take out all the temporary out of here and we're on permanent power for lights in the entire building and there's no more temporary anywhere. So what we need to do is get layout for a light, a light, a light, and a light, four lights. I'm gonna mount the brackets and once they're mounted, I'm gonna draw a small hole, fish the wire through the rafters, pull them down to each light because from the drywall, there are actually open rafters to there. So it'd be easy to fish wire through, make all the connections, and voila, we're finished. We're firing them up, we're good to go. So lights are installed, we're wired up. These lights are vapor-proof lights, so they're perfect for the kitchen. We put four in here, it's gonna be plenty enough light. And uh, now it's time to see if we, uh, everything wired correctly from there on out, because I haven't tested any of this stuff yet. So it's gonna fire it up. If it goes pop, I have an issue. I don't think it will. Boom, there's light. Oh yeah. Yep. Should we change the color of the lights? No, I think it's fine. I think we probably should change them to brighter, because right now it's kind of like a house. I'm not sure if kitchens you want them real bright or not. Whatever. We'll ask Deanna. That's we'll ask Deanna's Deanna's call. I, can, I can take a hit of switch and make them brighter. Perfect. We'll leave that up to her. She yes. can pick whatever she likes. Correct. I'm just excited to be getting rid of these guys. Oh my god. Me too. No more temporary lights. Yeah, everything works. Yay! This is actually pretty exciting. It's very exciting. Yes, it is. <clears throat> 
Okay, so I know that Josh has said this a million times, but I have not, and I'm putting the official stamp on it. We are here at the very end. This Friday, the fire protection company shows up, they button things up. We're gonna have a deep clean going through all the construction dust, every last little inch of this place that needs to get cleaned. And then Deanna, her family, our family are all gonna get together and unbox this entire place. Yep. We're gonna decorate. Deanna's gonna be in the kitchen doing her thing. Josh and I are gonna be out here tackling those last little bits of paint. It was gonna be That's over. Good job. Good job. <laughs> and then we're getting the she health inspector she, and the fire marshal in here. And she finally believes me. We're almost done. Yeah. We're, we're at the end. We're on the cusp. We're getting this thing finished up finally. Yeah. How long has it been? Nine months, right? I don't know. I just know that I walked in here feeling pretty overwhelmed today. Feeling and, good like, now. and I wasn't feeling good about the mess. No, there's a bigger mess now. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, almost, we're in a great spot. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this is, a, this is a full renovation down here. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, but it was much more than that because we're, we've got major inspections. Yep. There's a lot of things that have to be done. I mean, we're opening a restaurant, a cafe, the first, the first time. restaurant. It's our yeah. first time. Yeah. I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but now we gotta clean. That's uh -huh. our last to do of the night. And then we head home because we've got a house filled. Not tonight. We're going to take it easy tonight. <laughs> now that it's dark outside. Uh -huh.